Hey, hey, YouTube, Rich McCall, Rich McCall Service. How's it going? So today is August 4th, 2019. And next weekend is the August 2019 Reptile Super Show in Pomona, California. One of the biggest West Coast shows. And I have to get all of my stuff ready for that show. And I want to do it this weekend, so I'm not doing it Thursday night, the day before I leave for the show. So, today, come with me and I'll show you the stuff I take to shows. And a little bit of philosophy on shows. All right, let's go. And I gotta mention, I got shirts made finally. I got uh, both the black and white and the color version of my metal t-shirt. There's the black and white version right there. I uh, made them on a quality shirt. I'll have them for sale at Pomona. Uh, and then I should have them for sale online as well. Watch my Facebook and my Instagram for details on how to get one if you want one. All right, so let's start off with you need a bin. You need something to hold your stuff. And this is the unofficial bin of all reptile shows. The black bin with the yellow lid from Home Depot. I say that because we all have this bin. Every one of us has this bin. That's why I had to write my name on the top of it so that I knew for sure that was my bin. I also uh, picked the size. That if I fill it full of stuff, I can still pick it up all by myself. Because I am a one-man show, and that's important to me. It comes in a whole bunch of sizes, though. So if you want it bigger or smaller, those sizes are available. And a cool thing about these bins, you see those uh, six uh, oval holes on the edges there. Those go right into the bin itself. So if you need to lock this bin, it's lockable. Well, you have to add a lock to it, of course. But there you go. So first thing is first. Get yourself a tablecloth. Every reptile show in the country is at a fairgrounds or a convention center that has those same ugly wooden tables that they haul out every weekend for whatever's going on. And those tables are gouged up and scratched up and stuff's written on them, stuff spilled on them. They look horrible. And nothing looks gankier than someone who sets up on a wooden table with nothing on it to hide all that stuff. I choose red. Red's just my color. I like it. Uh, people use black a lot. I wouldn't use white for obvious reasons as far as staining goes. And then size-wise, 8-footers and 6-footers. 8-foot tables are probably the most common table you're going to run into at different shows across the country, followed by the 6-footers. And if you're only going to buy one tablecloth, get yourself an 8-footer. An 8-footer will cover a 6-foot table, too. I also like the fitted tablecloths, you know, the one that have the crisp edges that go down each side, and they go all the way to the floor. That lets you store stuff under your table. Out of sight, out of mind, people don't know it's there. It reduces the theft risk by a bit. And then it also just looks better if people can't look under the table and see your feet or whatever you drop down there or whatnot. So uh, I carry four tablecloths, two sixers, two eighters. And the reason I have four is occasionally I've been asked to cover a table next to me, which for whatever reason is empty. You know, someone didn't show up or whatnot. And I don't like having just a naked table next to me because it makes me look less professional to have that there too. So I do not mind covering a table next to me. You know, I'll throw my business cards on it. I'll throw a poster on it. You know, maybe I'll move um, some snakes over onto it. Whatever. Just so it's covered and looks better. I also have a couple of these unfitted black tablecloths that I carry around as well. And what I use these for is to cover the vendor display bases that I use. So I've got vendor displays that I bought, you know, seven, eight years ago. And I bought five years ago. And I bought three years ago. And so on. And they all look a little bit different wear and tear wise. And uh, when you throw the black tablecloth over top of them, it just gives it a more uniform look. And I think it looks a little more professional. Uh, but I've also used this tablecloth to cover up, for example, a big spill once on my table. Someone knocked a drink over. It looked horrible. So I was able to just to throw this tablecloth across the top in the middle of the show. And I didn't have to do anything. And it looked a lot better than, you know, some drink all over my table. All right, let's talk power. That's a 25-foot power cord. Uh, it's invaluable to have that one. At these different venues, you'll see all kinds of different ways that power has been run. And some of these, like especially like fairgrounds, are really old. And the power can be really weird as far as how they run stuff. Having, uh, I'd say, a, a minimum 25-foot uh, power cord is really important. It's been key at a couple of shows to have this. You could carry a bigger one. But honestly, 25 feet has been enough at every show I've been to. And, you know, a 50-footer is just that much more weight and size to carry. All right, so in addition to a power cord, though... Get yourself one of those. I know we all have dozens of these. It gives you uh, all the power you need as far as the uh, splitters go. 
Um, important, important, important. You could get away probably with just one of those, especially if it has a long cord on it. Um, I found the combination of the two has been really good at a lot of shows though. Um, I often won't use the 25 foot power cord and just use the splitter here. Um, but the couple of times where I've needed that 25 feet, I've really needed it. So good thing to have. Duct tape, self-explanatory. You use duct tape for everything, including if you have to use that 25 foot power cord, a lot of places will make you tape it down so people don't trip over it. So having that tape available for that is just great. Um, I got some of the electrician's tape too, which I just sort of have that. I think you can get away with just the duct tape. Occasionally having that thin black electrician's tape has been valuable too. Uh, it doesn't take out much room and it's more that I had it than I really went on a way to get it. But the duct tape though, duct tape makes the world go round. Lighting, you want something to light up your display racks. A lot of the uh, convention centers, and especially the fairgrounds, again, old big giant buildings, uh, the, the overhead lighting just doesn't do you any favors as far as making your snakes look their best. And uh, lights will do that for you. There's a whole kinds of ways to do lighting at this point. And there's all kinds of LED lighting systems that have come out in the last couple of years that people are using with great results. I think the color of the light is the most important. I think that there are lights out there that will make your snakes look worse, not better. I think the yellow, yellower looking ones do that. So you want a, a bulb color that makes your snakes look good. And uh, other than that, it really doesn't matter what the fixture is as long as it's something that you can work for. I bought these on Amazon for like 15 bucks. I got three of them um, years ago at this point. They've served me very well. But the key part of it is the fact that I use a bulb in them. LED bright sticks. That's just a bulb I found that seemed to do a good job looking at uh, looking at the snakes themselves. There's all kinds of options out there. That's just what I bought. Um, just make sure whatever you buy doesn't make your snakes look worse, not better. What I do like about this lighting system is very compact. It will roll up just like that. It has a uh, a clamp system. A little peg on the end there so you clamp this on the table and which means you can put this anywhere on the table and so it's totally you know customizable per show to where you put these lights i like that um that's just what i'm using like i said amazon in fact all the stuff i'm showing you comes from amazon because i'm that guy amazon is my king um so anyways three lights one table that's uh all i usually do is one table so three lights is more than adequate for me um, lots of ways to do it. Go as fancy as you want. Go as plain as you want. You just want a good color on your snakes to make them look better. And that's the most important part in the end. Hand sanitizer makes the world go round. You definitely want some hand sanitizer. I personally have a giant bottle. Then I have some small bottles that I refill out of this giant bottle. Though I can use the giant bottle uh, by itself if I have to. Um, stuff doesn't spoil. So buy yourself a big old bottle from Costco or whatever and stay in the corner. You do want a, a sealable lid so you don't spill it everywhere. Baby wipes. I use these for all kinds of things. But you can clean snakes with these um, if they poo in themselves. And you can clean out the, uh, the vendor racks with these as well. The thing about the acrylic vendor racks is you can't use a lot of cleaners on them or it will uh, ruin them in the long run. But you can use the baby wipes to wipe them out. Um, it's soft and it's clean for your snake. And like I said, it's, you know, it's baby wipes. Therefore, it's safe on your snake as well. So I use these all the time. Paper towels. I always throw a fresh roll of paper towels in for every show. And uh, you will use them. Guarantee it. You will use them. A scale. Self-explanatory. There's always that person who's going to want to know an exact weight of the snake that they're holding in their hand at the moment. Clothes. In the bin. At the show. Not in your hotel room. It happens. You spill your drink, snake poops on you, whatever. Having an extra shirt and an extra pair of shorts. Well, personally, I wear shorts 24-7, 365, because California never gets cold. But it's just something else to put on if a snake pees down you or whatever happens. Um, invaluable occasionally. Occasionally. You really, really want it. Great big clamps. There's one single show I do every year. It has these weird little tables that are sort of not quite wide enough. And uh, so I use these clamps to put a piece of plywood 
on top of the table to make it just a little bit wider and therefore a little bit more usable by me. Um, if you don't have tables at a show like that, you don't need these. But hey, they've been very valuable occasionally. Uh, extra heat. I do heat on my uh, my vendor rack. And I use a Herbstat and I have a, a set of uh, heat tape that I've hooked up for it. But as backup, I basically, I had this Repti heat cape stuff that comes with vision racks. And personally, I don't like it at all, so I don't ever use it. But as a backup for a show, easy to throw in the box. And then also, for whatever reason that you possibly might need it, I have some of the shipping heats too. A couple of those thrown in there. Um, I, I've got it. It's, I already have it. It's not very big. So a couple of those in there. And uh, I feel better having that. Snake bags or whatever reptile you're selling, you need something to give your animal to your customer in. So deli cups of appropriate size, snake bags of appropriate size. Make sure you have enough to sell everything you have. You have a really good day. All right, so here's a pile of little stuff. The hodgepodge. So we'll start off with the label maker. This is the Brother P-Touch. It's got a QWERTY keyboard, it's easy to use, I like it a lot. It's a battery killer though, so it takes six AAA batteries. So of course I've got extra batteries stuck in for it as well. Um, and then I got extra, extra tape. These are the tape cartridges that fit in it. You always run out at the worst possible moment, so having all that stuff is good to squirrel it away. And then I have markers that I can use if I forgot the batteries. But I have really bad handwriting, so I really prefer to use a label maker. Um, markers are good and cheap to throw in there. In addition to the markers, I got uh, pens. I usually have two or three pens stuck in there. Permanent marker. And then I've got this one. This is the Sharpie counterfeit detector marker. Twice it uh, shows last year. People got busted for passing counterfeit $100 bills. Did not affect me whatsoever. They weren't trying to buy something for me when they did that. But I grabbed this counterfeit detector because of those two incidents. Haven't had to use it yet. Hopefully never will. Um, scotch tape. It's occasionally really usable to have the tape going on for you. Um, paper receipt. If you're doing an electronic credit card, you know, square reader or whatever, sales you don't really need this because they're going to have an electronic receipt but people pay in cash i always offer them a receipt very rarely does anybody actually want the receipt but i got it because they want it and speaking of which i do have the i use square for my credit card reader it works really well um you got his charger as well stuck in there and then speaking of chargers phone charger whatever your phone is throw an extra charger we all have a bazillion chargers laying around the house nowadays so throw one in there um Razor knife and or a pair of scissors um, for cutting whatever you need to cut. And then keys. Let's see, we got all kinds of extra keys. The uh, silver keys are for my two acrylic tower cases, two different brands. And the black keys and red keys are actually the same. They're for my ARS vendor racks. And one of the things when you buy racks like that is you, they always give you a bazillion keys. I've got keys stuck everywhere. But, uh, it's still a good thing because somebody always forgets their keys at a reptile show. And even if it's not exactly the same brand between those three key styles right there, you can usually get anything open, no matter whose brand it is. Um, so it's good to have the extra supposed. Like I said, I got a ton of them, so I might as well just bring them in. Zip ties. Zip ties. I got a big old bag of zip ties. Makes the world go round, huh? And then business cards. You bought business cards. Why did you buy them if you aren't going to bring them to a show like this? So throw your business cards in as I knock them on the floor. Garbage bag, self-explanatory. You're going to make a mess even if you think you aren't going to. Uh, and then, of course, that's been become very evident in the last year. You can't go to a reptile show without stickers. So I got myself some RMS Triceratops stickers. If you would like one at the Pomona show or San Jose show or whatnot, ask. I've got a whole bunch of them at this point. Good solid vinyl quality stickers. And then to top everything off, my little neoprint bag that I can stick most of that stuff into. Keep it all organized for myself. And uh, there I'm good to go. So that's my little stuff. And I was forgetting. I also throw in a big dog bowl, water bowl in there. 
uh, if you have to soak a snake or for whatever reason you might need a ball uh, it's occasionally again just really valuable to have something a uh, tub something to hold some water if you need it and uh, I had a bazillion of these bowls so that's why I use this bowl heat gun yep I take one of these with me and I use it chamois cloth dust rags these are the cloths that you can use to clean acrylic with so they're super soft and won't scratch supposedly at least so I got these from Amazon so I usually have a couple of these squirreled away too basic care sheet for ball pythons so in California there's a lot that says you have to have a care sheet for each species of reptile you are selling at a show and uh, um, people will argue that you can have one that you can email or text and I think that's totally appropriate if you have one of those except for it's California and we're full of beer crats so whether it's your local animal control or cow fish and wildlife or whoever having a physical copy with me gives me something tangible to hand to somebody if they were ever to ask for it and therefore they can't second guess me because you never want a bureaucrat to second guess you hand dolly incredibly valuable i love it you absolutely want one of these or some kind of a a wagon i don't know something something to move all your stuff from your vehicle to your vending site Tall director's chair. I prefer to stand at reptile shows, but uh, occasionally my feet get sore and I want to sit. And usually the chairs they give you at a reptile show are those, you know, normal folding chairs, which means when you sit in them, you're super low and you're looking up at your clientele, and I just don't like that. So I got myself a really tall folding director's chair. So that when I am sore and I do sit, I am on eye level with most people. All right, rubber floor mat. I think they actually call these like anti-fatigue mats. Uh, Home Depot or wherever will have these. And it's just a rubber mat, but almost like wearing a second pair of tennis shoes. They're awesome. Uh, the difference between staying on a cement floor all day long and staying on that same floor with this rubber mat is incredible. These will totally save your feet. Uh, definitely worth the investment. I've got two or three I throw on the floor keep my feet in tip-top shape all right there you go that's the pile of stuff i typically take to a reptile show and of course there's a few other odds and ends that i take i've got a banner and a banner stand and of course i have acrylic displays for the snakes themselves i personally use ars there's a couple really good display makers out there i just have been using ars from day one and i really like them and so i've stuck with them so check out the shirt this is the full color version of my shirt uh, i made it on a gildan ultra soft i'll have these shirts available at pomona and uh, San Jose, probably also at Sacramento and Santa Rosa, and then uh, Anaheim in January as well. Watch my Instagram, my Facebook for some details how you can mail order these if you wish to get one. So this is the front. Pretty awesome, huh? Hold on one second until you check out the back. Oh, boom, there you go. Asphalt Dreams Tour. This reptile shows that I will be doing for the next year or so. Pretty amazing, huh? All right, YouTube, I'll catch you later. This is Rich McCall, Rich McCall Serpents. See ya! Hello, Casey.